The Football League champions hit the Euro Trail. Arsenal are the first English club to play in the Champions Cup since the ban following the Heysel Stadium tragedy in 1985. They carry to Vienna not just the nation's hopes, but the nation's burdens too. Everyone's on trial. Players, fans, club and country. Nevertheless, it's a responsibility that manager George Graham relishes. Well, I think it's a very exciting times again for Arsenal. Uh, domestically, it's been very nice over the last five years. But uh, getting back into Europe, you know, after such a long time, it's, uh, I'm very excited about it and I think the players are and uh, I think the fans should be as well. Uh, it's lovely for Arsenal that we'll even have a greater burden on our shoulders because I think we're representing England in the Premier uh, competition, the, the European Cup. Uh, I would like to think, which is probably very rare, that the, the rest of the country get behind us like they did last season with Manchester United. Uh, it was the first uh, year back for English clubs and I thought Manchester United did a great job not only for themselves but for the good of the country as a whole. The first leg against the Austrian champions left the rest of Europe quaking. I think in that evening we saw what was the best of English football and especially Arsenal at their best. I think it was one of the best all-round team performances that uh, since I've come to the club. I think we had everything, we had organisation, we had power, with wonderful football and great goals. Uh, it was just a very, very exciting night and probably one of the best nights I've had at Arsenal since I joined the, rejoined the club. the Memphis home massacre, the job, to all intents and purposes, was done. The team went to Vienna with the tie virtually in the bag, but with some important lessons still to learn. The boss was keen to spell them out. Getting to Europe is a different ball game. You're playing against players you don't know. You're playing against teams that you probably don't mean anything to you. Um, you're playing against different tactics. I mean, the Continental, most of the Continental teams don't play a pressing game that majority teams do in England. Uh, there's great space and great width and they drop off and they let you play football. The players are aware too of the demands of European competition. League football's 90 miles an hour, loads of tackles flying in and uh, you know it's really physical and European is more slow and uh, laid back but what we try and do, we try and keep your tempo up for 90 minutes and uh, we don't think the Europeans like our style of play whereas we get it up and we battle them a bit so uh, we find that uh, uh, pretty intimidating for them. The formality of the result didn't dampen the enthusiasm of the fans. Thousands made the trip to Austria with the Arsenal Travel Club by land, sea and air. No flying. 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 Yeah, flying. It's a good trip over. Nice food. Official charter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Official, all official charter of Arsenal right. Travel Club. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, really good trip. Arsenal done, it, done a really good trip. And yeah, I've from travelled from Workington. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's. We've uh, travelled up from the north, 300 miles from, yes, from Highbury, where they watch the boys do the business.